G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com, and today I'm here to show you how you can get your photos off your phone or camera and get them into Photoshop Elements ready for you to get creative. Here I've just clicked on Photoshop Elements 13 and to import my photos from my camera or my phone I need the organizer. The organizer helps me find and view all my photos. When you first come to open Photoshop Elements Organizer you'll come to this blank screen and we need to click on the big import button and I'm going to choose my camera or card reader. Now this is the photo downloader. I want to get my photos off my iPhone. If you want to use your camera you can either plug your camera in or pop your SD card into your card reader. It's connecting to my phone right now and it's finding all my photos. Now the next thing I want to look at is the import settings. Here's where we choose where we want our photos to go. I'm going to pop them in my pictures folder and I'm going to click select. Now we can create some subfolders if we want to based on the date we took the photo. You can choose a few different um, naming conventions. I think it's great to choose the shot date um, because that makes it really easy to sort by date. And then even if you do no subfolders it's easy to see what date things were taken. We can choose to either leave the originals on our phone or our SD card, verify and delete the originals or just go ahead and delete them. So I'm going to leave it on do not delete at least for the first time just to make sure everything's fine. Now if you want to get a little a bit more advanced there is an advanced dialogue where you can do a few other things like choose which photos you want to import, fix red eyes or apply some different settings. But I'm going to go with a standard dialog for now. Let's click Get Media. Now Photoshop Elements is copying all my photographs off my phone onto my hard drive. Now if you're using a camera it's doing the exact same thing just copying the photos off your camera card onto your computer. Let's leave that running and come back when it's finished. So now all of our keyword tags have been imported along with our photos. So what we want to do is click on the select all button to import all the keyword tags and then click OK. And there we have all our photos. These are all from my phone. And we can go ahead and use them in Photoshop Elements. Now all of our photos are off our phone and onto, into Photoshop Elements. You can see where the photos are stored on your hard drive by clicking Folders. In my case all the photos are in the iPhone 6 demo folder. And I can see that in Windows Explorer or Finder by right mouse button clicking and then Reveal in Explorer. And now you can see my files are actually still on my hard drive and the thumbnail is stored in Photoshop Elements so it makes it easy for me to find the photos and edit them. Now I'm going to play with this image. So what I need to do is click on Edit, Edit with Photoshop Elements Editor. It'll load up Photoshop Elements for me. And now I'm in the Photoshop Elements Editor. There's several modes in Photoshop Elements Editor and in my class Photo Editing for Absolute Beginners I show you what you can use those modes for. Today I'm going to take you through one of the cool guided edits in Photoshop Elements 13. So let's click on Guided. I'm going to start with camera effects. 
going to try the depth of field first. I'm going to add a little bit of a blurry fuzzy background. You can see. And then I'm going to add a focus area to draw attention to my lily pilly berries. And I'll just keep playing around with that my drawing over the area I want in focus. That's looking fun. Now we can increase the amount of blur if we want to. Let's see before and after. Let's see how it's looking. Now it's quite blurry now. I don't think I want that much blur so I'll re reduce that down happy with that so I'll click done. Now the next thing I want to do is add a vignette in black and I might reduce the intensity of that one as well. This is looking good for me. And then finally I might want to add a fun photo effect. Um, one of them that could work with this image is to do color pop. So we're going to click on black and white color pop and then you choose what colors you want to highlight. In my case probably the red could work or green or I think I'll select a custom color. I want my pinks and I'll make it really fuzzy so that it'll select more pink. Hmm, that effect's not really what I'm going for. So I think I'll just cancel out of that one. If you don't want to apply the effect you can always cancel out of it or go to edit, undo to, or click the large undo button. So I think that's pretty fun. I've drawn some attention to my lily pilly here and I could go ahead and add some text here by going into the quick edit mode, clicking on the type tool and going to the tool options. I'll make my font a bit bigger, make it white, click on the green check mark to apply my changes and then I could choose to move it around until I'm happy with how everything looks and then we'll go to file save save our file as a Photoshop document so we can come back and edit it later and there we have it so you can see with just a couple of edits in Photoshop Elements I've taken a photo from my phone or camera card added some cool effects and some text and now if I want to go ahead and print that image I can go to File Print in Photoshop Elements or I can save it as a JPEG and upload it to my photo processor online. If you'd like to learn more about Photoshop Elements, how you can use it to edit your photos and get them printed or share them online, check out Photo Editing for Absolute Beginners.